So we told you at the top of the show mm -hmm. that scientists, I love science, Science uh, scientists are trying to develop a non-slip shoe. Yeah, it works in ice and snow, so we sent Rick Adams in on the case to investigate. As many of you will know, I'm a very famous weather scientist. So let's go inside my lab and take a look at another fascinating experiment. I'd been sent a report about a team of fellow brainiacs uncovering a scientific solution for when the weather makes the ground outside a wet and slippery nightmare for the elderly. This time on Weather Scientist, the case of the super sticky shoe. So, after a little bit of a slip up, I went to Toronto, Canada on Google. There needs to be a better way of classifying the performance of footwear in terms of slip resistance. So what we did is we tested a whole line of shoes and we work on these different slopes. Some of them fail at two, three, or four degrees. But one company sent you a very special pair of shoes, didn't they, that seemed to be just the right fit. That was a prototype uh, shoe and it had a really neat material on it that was able to climb a 20 degree incline on wet ice and this material has little microscopic glass fibers that protrude out from the surface so they act like little tiny spikes that actually dig into the ice and keep people from slipping on wet ice. So does that mean we're seeing the dawn of the first intelligent shoes? There's all sorts of really interesting materials out there that might let us um, create a type of sole that actually has material properties that change depending on the temperature or the material that they're in contact with. Spikes that protrude out at the right times and go away as you go back indoors, for instance. Those Canadians really do have their feet on the ground. And soon we can have shoes that are rated much like the tires used for different weather conditions by race cars. One for the wet, one for ice, and maybe even one pair of goody two shoes for all weather conditions. Now that's what I call a shoe-in. Rick Adams, The Leather Channel. <laughs> Look at him, he's so serious. That is one creative dude, Adams. man. Oh, that was so great. great. But the point the is that glass. this is real technology. Yes. And how cool is that, that as you bend your foot, the little slivers of glass would be able to grab onto Pretty the Pretty soon we'll be walking up walls, Sam Champion. I know. There yeah. you go. But did you happen to notice like the blow-up bed <laughs> the at the mattress. very end? Yes. Just in case the shoe didn't stick, you could <laughs> just fall into the bed. Talking about innovation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>